War Diary Day 178 of Vladimir Putin's war. You want to empty a city of 100,000 people, you do a Bakhmut. This is what Vladimir Putin's killing machine did to Bakhmut. The city is pretty much empty. There's maybe a thousand people left. Um, Middle-aged couples walking home laden with water because the water is cut. Uh, a guy runs a kebab shop, the last one in town, where he had something to eat. An old lady in a kiosk selling coke and iced tea. Not very cold. And a beautiful old lady, a member of the aristocracy of the human soul, who I think has been disabled her whole life. She's wheelchair bound, electricity is gone. But she doesn't want to leave because she organizes the aid for the disabled people here, some of whom are paralyzed. And she fears that if she goes, there will be nobody to look after her, her flock, if you like. Um, we're going to try and do something to help her get her some kind of electricity supply so she can communicate with her aid donors and contact with the outside world. Um, you could call these people the walking dead of Bakhmut. There's a bit of... I think that's incoming. But I'm also thinking about the walking dead... other walking dead, people in Westminster and in Britain and in Europe and in the United States who don't get what Vladimir Putin is doing, who kind of want to appease him. And there's no chance of that whatsoever. If we appease him, we're foolish. That's outgoing. Um, but we've got to stand up to Vladimir Putin's killing machine or else the whole of Ukraine will be like what's behind me. By the way, I'm, I'm freelance, I'm here at my own expense, so if you can bung a quid to me on Patreon, that would be lovely. Simple message of Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.